What's going on guys, it's your boy WLX bringing you Underpass Survival Best Camping Spot, okay? So this map recently just came out for GTA 5 Online and a lot of people don't really like it because there is no good camping spot. Now I got a fix for that. Now the best camping location that I've discovered is the spawn location. However, the reason why it's not good is because there's no cover. However, you can it's a simple fix. All you have to do is make your own cover. Now, what you're going to want to do when you load up the game, you're going to want to make your way to the left side of the bridge. You're going to see this van right here. It's going to be stuck. So, you're going to want to shoot it with the up and atomizer to get it unstuck. And you know, just consistently shoot at it until you get it over to the uh, spawn location or camping location however you want to call it now once you get it there what you want to do is you want to make sure the van is leaning towards the right side of the wall the reason being is because ai's in uh, survival mode they tend to push you when you're taking cover from the left and right side however if you shoot the van towards the right side of the wall it's going to neglect neg neglect that i think that's how you say it it's going to like you know counter it and they're not gonna sh they're not gonna push you from the right side of the you know of the camping spot. They're only gonna be pushing you from the left side. And if you're doing this solo, it works great. You can also do it with the squad. However, with the squad, you're gonna need additional cover. So it doesn't really matter how the van is. You know, it could be up or down, or it could be sideways or something like that. Just make sure it's enough cover for to provide for you and you feel comfortable with it. And also make sure that you're able to shoot. You know. Make sure you're able to shoot on the left side. And also, don't worry about the right side. Like I said, they're not going to climb over or they're not going to shoot over from the right side. They're really only going to be pushing you from the left side. If they're pushing you from the right side, then it's not the, the van is not leaning towards the right side of the wall enough. Now, if you want to do this with the squad, there's going to be these couches all over the uh, underpass. There's going to be one in between the pillars right there. There's going to be two in the parking lot, one on the left and one on the right. And there's going to be another one literally right next to the van, okay? So what you're going to want to do with this is this is going to provide additional cover. You're going to want to go for the one in between the pillars because it's the closest one and it's the, it's the easiest one, you know? So what you're going to want to do with it, you're going to want to take it to the camping location. And like I said, this is really kind of unnecessary if you're doing it solo. However, if you're doing it with a squad, you're going to want to, you know, take that couch over there to provide cover, additional cover for your teammates because, you know, it's not going to have enough cover. One van is not going to have enough cover for your um, for your teammates, you know, so you, you need a, the couch. You can bring all the couches if you want, if you just want additional cover for, you know, everything. And also, when you're doing this, be wary that sometimes they tend to spawn literally on the other side of the bridge. What you're gonna wanna do is, you know, quickly run over there. It's gonna say leaving survival, of course, but you know, just shoot them. As you can see, I have 20 seconds to run back. However, every single round, it resets the time, even if you're outside of the survival. As you can see right here, it's gonna give me an additional 30 seconds to leave the survival. So, you know, don't really worry about that. And I'm gonna skip over here to wave 10, doing it solo. You know, pretty much they're gonna try to like push you from the right side. However, they're not gonna make it. You know, as you can see, they're getting stuck. And you know, just at this point, because you're doing it solo, what you're gonna want to do is just pretty much, you know, no looker. You know, you want to no look shoot, pretty much, or you just want to shoot explosive. You can also shoot an RPG. However, be careful because sometimes you can like probably like you know miss shot and then just shoot like the fucking floor or something like that. You know, as, as you can see, I'm being wary where I shoot the rockets. And, you know, like I said, you don't really need to have this much couch. You can just have the van and still do it successfully solo. However, you know, this is just providing additional cover for me. So you want to make sure, like, the, you know, the placement doesn't necessarily have to be perfect with the van. However, you just want to make sure it's leaning towards the right side of the wall. And as you can see, wave 10, solo, did it myself. Now, if you're doing it with the squad, this is essentially what you want it to look like, okay? As you can see, we have three couches right there, and we have that van leaning towards the right side of the wall to make sure we don't get pushed from the right side of the wall. However, the AI act very differently when you're, uh, you know, with the squad. They just, they really just stand there. But that's pretty much the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this, and I hope you guys did find this helpful. And if you did, please drop a like and share it with your friends, and you know, just share it publicly. You know, just make sure it's well known that this has to be the best camping spot for Underpass. So as always, uh, if you have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section below. And it's been your boy WLX, and I'm out. Peace.